Say what? Kevin Feige was asked to run DC? Hold on. Was he asked to leave Marvel and run DC? Or to run both? Because I know he's tied up for years with Marvel and Disney, isn't he? Or maybe he's not. Um, it says here, well, it appears our long national nightmare ended this week and we finally have not one, but two men running DC Studios, perhaps newly re-christened re to signal the dawn of a new day under Warner Brothers Discovery. Despite my gracious offer to run the joint myself, James Gunn and Peter Safran have been hired to be the new DC boss, bosses, sharing co-chairman and CEO titles. And with their arrival, the DC Extended Universe is now to be referred to as the DC Universe. Okay. Because why not? Gunn ends his Marvel connection with this four-year deal his final projects, there being the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas Special and the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. That's it from now on. He's exclusive to DC. Okay. Much has been made of the search for someone to run the show. I've mentioned it a time or two as new WBD boss David Zaslav wanted someone like Kevin Feige and apparently even asked him, though he politely declined, naturally, to run the DCU and try to make it even remotely competitive with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, something like that. I think it is important to note is rather rare, though there are exceptions to the rule. That is while it makes me wonder... If Feige, I guess, you know, a lot of these people are under contracts for a certain amount of years and maybe they re-up quietly. And maybe that's probably what was going on. I mean, people in the industry talk like, well, you know, he's only with them for, you know, five-year deal. You know, it's coming up this year. You might as well ask him just in case. May sweeten the deal something for him to come over and get us rolling just as well as the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going. Interestingly, the fact that MCU has stumbled some since the end of the Infinity Saga, you damn right, seems to have allowed DC to gain some ground in its comic book, uh, on its comic book rival. The opening weekend of Black Adam appears promising, even though most critics would beg to differ. I saw it myself over the weekend and thought it was fine. Hardly the pile of garbage. The, yeah, right. I will, that's blasphemy. I don't even read that part right there. But not terribly good either. I actually thought it was better than both Thor uh, and Doctor Strange sequels. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, I would say it was. That hit uh, theaters over the summer with Dwayne Johnson. Uh, takes on the superpowered anti-hero. Uh, was solid. Even if the movie around him was just meh. Still Black Adam and the sequel. Uh, okay, so doesn't look like we have any more in this that has to do with uh, <laughs> with um, with Feige. But wow, can y'all imagine that? Imagine that if he left MCU and jumped on DC. I mean, business-wise, that had that that would probably be seen as like, like highly treacherous, in betraying the MCU for him to just leave, and do that. You know what I mean? Like you would have to be blackballed in everything that Disney had anything to do with, for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't think that they would take that well at all. Like I don't think it would be like, okay, well, if you, you know. We understand. I don't think that would be that. I really don't. That would be nuts. He was offered it. What if he had have 
I said yes. I mean, I guess if DC or Marvel, or you know, I mean, not Marvel, Marvel and Disney maybe had treated him wrong, you know, something like that. You know, uh, Scarlett Johansson went through something with them. So, what if he had went through something like that? Then would he have left? I mean, he's already a multi-millionaire. I'm sure he doesn't need to work anymore. He's continuing to work because he loves it. But that could be a situation that could make a man leave and not care about being blackballed with Disney or Marvel because it's like, yo, I built this shit. Now I'm going to go build another one to beat you. Like, that'd be nuts. Like, what if some scandal like that actually did happen? That would be crazy. But he politely declined. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think about this. If you enjoyed my reaction and thoughts on it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Two million subscribers. Woo!